early internal combustion engine tractors were too large and cumbersome to replace the horse on British farms, but it was a very different story on the large scale fields of North America. J.I. Case was famous for building steam traction engines, but they were also one of the first to produce tractors, although they were still based along the lines of their traction engine predecessors. Other American tractors included the very successful Advanced Roomley oil pull machines that were available in a range of different sizes, but once again all very solidly built. The name oil pull was derived from the fact that their engines were oil cooled and they were very efficient at burning various grades of kerosene as prominently displayed on the sides of this distinctive cooling tower. Some early pioneers did start producing smaller machines in the early years of the 20th century in Britain, including the Ival and Saunderson tractors. The Saunderson Universal was particularly successful and was built in large numbers in the company's Bedfordshire factory although in the end it would fall foul of more modern American imports. The company was bought by vehicle manufacturer Crosley, but soon disappeared as the company concentrated on road-going transport. Clayton and Shuttleworth were still best known for their steam traction engines, when they introduced the Clayton Crawler tractor in 1916. Powered by a Dorman engine, it was advanced for its time, using a steering wheel to control the steering clutches rather than levers. More manageable size American models were starting to really take off from around 1915. Many were of very basic design, but their simplicity worked, and they mostly gave reliable service. 